This is a 2001 94 foot Ferretti and I am a little bit in love with the interior of this one. Wait till you see this. It's fantastic. It's a lovely boat actually. It's got a real motor yacht vibe to it. And we are, of course, gonna do the full tour. So we've got the aft deck here, seating around the table. But let's head on inside. In fact, I just wanna show you a couple of things so I don't forget later. It's got day heads actually outside in the cockpit. I think this is great. There's a shower in here, loo in there. That's rather nice if you're out sunbathing, messing around in the water, that kind of thing. You don't need to go inside to use those. That one is accessed down to the uh, engine space. I'll show you the other side of that when we do the engine room. But we're going to head on inside and I'm going to show you just how glorious this is. Check this out. That is typical Italian turn of the century wonderfulness. Look at that. I just think it's stunning. It's so iconic. And it's so spacious. It's really big in here, very beamy. You've got the big windows, obviously, with plenty of light coming in. But yeah, that polished wood, the cream leather, the way that these cappings are done around here, you just don't see stuff like this anymore. I think that's great. Bar area is on this side. Like so. And then we've got the TV, which rather than lifting out of the cabinet, as you normally expect, actually hinges out of the ceiling, as you can see. So that's pretty nifty. Dining area is up here. That door there takes you through to the galley area. I will show you that, but we'll head forward first of all. These steps take you up to the pilot house. Again, we're gonna do all of that. That's down to the lower deck, and this one is the internal day heads. So you have that as well as the one that we saw out in the cockpit. That's through to the galley area. What we're going to do, however, is go this way. It's a main deck owner's cabin on this one. So we're in through, across this threshold. This is all owner cabin up here. And again, it's just got that wonderful, warm, stylish Italian feel to it. I think that's just great. I like that very much indeed. There is a, uh, a walk-in wardrobe. So you can see you've got the hanging rails there and so forth and tons of storage down there. Big flat screen TV in here, it's rather nice. <laughs> I love this seating around here. Dressing table on that side, another wardrobe here, and then the ensuite is in here. So the toilet is just there, and the shower is on this side. You can see a big rainfall shower, plus the wand. Brilliant. <laughs> it's got the wave in early. But isn't that comfortable looking? Fantastic. Let's head on back. So that's past the, the walk-in wardrobe, back down this side. This is all drawers down in here, incidentally. That's what's going on there. Let's go across here, I think, while we're in this area, because we've got the galley here. It comes right around. Big um, fridge freezers here and here. And that's the door that takes you back out into the saloon area we saw by the dining table. You've also got access straight out onto the decks from here as well, so the crew can come and go without going through the guest areas if they wish to. This is a nice size, isn't it? Nice shape. And it's amazing to think this boat's over 20 years old. It doesn't have that feel about it at all. All right, if we head down here, this is the crew area. This boat is in use, so we're going to only have a very quick look in here. But we do like to cover all the areas if we can. So. Let's head on forward. There's a nice mess area down here, like so, with their own cooking facilities. And then what you have here is double bed in here, so this is like a captain's cabin. And in fact, there's also, I can just find the little catch for that. There we go. This has its own ensuite. So you've got the toilet there and a shower, and there's like a screen that wraps around that one like so, and then if we head on forward, you've got two more beds in this cabin, and then this one also has its own ensuite. So both of the crew cabins are ensuite cabins, that's rather nice. So laundry facilities, mess area, that's a decent crew area, isn't it? Like that. Very good. 
it's a sub 100 foot yacht so to find two on suites down there is really good okay we'll come back up here what we're going to do now so we've covered the main deck we're going to loop around this way and we're going to head down because this is where the guest accommodation is So at the bottom of the stairs is this nice lobby area. Again, you're seeing this fantastic woodwork. I mean, the effort that went into building these, you just don't see it anymore in quite the same way, I don't think. Very nice double cabin here. There is, in fact, a Pullman berth as well, so this drops down to make extra sleeping. And if we head up to this end, again with the woodwork, do you see what I mean? It's just fabulous. Walk-in uh, wardrobe for this cabin. And then at the other end, you've got the little desk there, or dressing area, and a very nice ensuite down here. Again, separate shower, loo, and so forth. If we come out of here and cross straight over, we will discover similar sort of deal, but this time you've got twins. Pullman berth again, again with the beautiful woodwork, and the desk and so forth. There must be a hanging locker in here. <laughs> of course, here it is. I was thinking that was a mirror, which it is, but it's inside. There we go. So you've got this great, again, full walk-in wardrobe. So all of these cabins have got this, in fact. Nice. OK, let's head on back. En suite, very similar to the one that we just saw. Toilet, shower, etc. Portholes, obviously the blinds down at the minute, but we've got portholes on either side as well. So they are in behind. Lovely. Okay. The other thing to show you down here. Big linen store for bedding or whatever else you want to keep in there. But look at this. We saw the owner's cabin on the main deck, but if we hadn't, we would assume that this is it. Because <laughs> it's just huge. Absolutely huge. Let's come right back over here. Take it all in. How about that? That's fantastic. Love this funky lighting in the ceiling. The huge uh, dressing table again. And again, big walk-in wardrobe. I think you can probably tell, or understand, perhaps I should say, why I am taken with this, because I just think it's a glorious yacht. I really do. OK, let's press on back around this side because we've got an ensuite here to show you. So toilet is there. This, of course, closes off with a door. And then you've got the shower at this end. But yeah, that is... It's basically it's two owners' cabins, isn't it? Let's be honest. That's what this is. You can't call that a VIP guest. It's just too spectacular. Nice. OK, let's go and take a look around the decks. We've got flywheel to show you. We've got the engine space to show you. So we'll come back up these stairs. It's a raised pilot house on this one. And that is up these stairs. There we go. Another nice zone, isn't it? There's a fantastic helm seat here. And all the usual paraphernalia, the um, multifunction displays, throttle controls. This is nice. Look at the way they've laid all this out. All the gauges, so your 240 volts, your 24 volt, all that sort of stuff is all across there. Perfect. And then they view out through the stainless trimmed windscreen. Oh, they don't make them like they used to. Love this. Let's go up again because we have direct access here. <laughs> Welcome to the flybridge. Let's close that back over because the air conditioning's running inside. So, terrific seating area up here, and that is right next to the upper helm. This is brilliant. If you are an owner operator, and this is you know top end really for owner operator, you'd expect to have a crew, but you could. Or you might just have you know like a steward or a stewardess helping out with bits and pieces or a deck hand. If you're running this boat yourself, this is where you want to be on a nice day, isn't it? Up here. With this amazing view out across the front of the yacht. 
brilliant. Let's move on back a little bit further. Fabulous seating area around here. There's a bar up here as well. So we've got the barbecue, we've got the ice maker, the sink and so forth. And we come right on back and we've got the hot tub. Beautiful, a nice little seating area here. And then we can come right on back now you'll notice there's a crane over here that's actually there's um, a tender storage on the back i'll show you that in a little while but you could put a jet ski up here if you wanted to as well um, but that's used for lifting up onto here or for lifting onto the bathing platform and i'll explain that in a bit more detail when we go down to the bathing platform which is where we're going next in fact because there's a stairway over here so we can loop on around trundle on down we will take a quick tour of the decks first pretty you always get the impression of size when you walk right around the boat don't you there we go so we're up alongside the uh, the owner's cabin now and right up on the front here you've got sunbathing love these teak decks and the anchor handling kit. Brilliant. And right up here onto the bow. Let's stand up here. Take a look back. <laughs> it's a chunk of boat, isn't it? Brilliant. OK, let's come back down this side. And I'll take you down and show you how that uh, tender handling system works. And I will show you also the engines. <laughs> That's what I was going to show you then. That's that side access door straight out from that galley area for the crew. So they can then come back down here, you see, and straight off the boat. Yeah. There we go, I've got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we'll spin on around this way. This is interesting because this is a flip over section. Um, so this is flush when that is hinged up, but when it hinges down, as it is at the minute, that's a wonderful walkway straight down into the sea. Look at that, the way that disappears down there. And then a similar arrangement here. This whole thing pivots down flat to give you your sort of your bathing platform, your beach club, call it what you will. That's what we came on, the passerelle. And what we can do here is loop around this way and it's got a garage in here. And so this takes your tender on this section. What this does then is you move this curtain out of the way, it slides out onto here and that crane that we saw on the flybridge is what lifts it then into the water. Cool, huh? Fishing rods. And if we come on through here, those steps are back up that doorway that we saw. Remember when we first came on in the cockpit, there was a, um, a day heads on one side and an outside toilet. I said there's another door on the other side that's entrance down here. That's what that is. So it goes up and out there. But we're going to go across here. Another escape route there. And then one of the tidiest engine rooms I think I've ever seen. Look at this. It's remarkable. Now what you've got in here is a pair of MTU 16V2000 M91 engines. They are 1,800 horsepower each. And they're giving the boat about 23 knots flat out, a fast cruise at 16, and an extended cruise at 11, which is giving you about 700 miles. This is extra refrigeration. You've got a freezer here, chest freezer, and a fridge freezer there on top of the stuff that you saw in the galley. And the crew were saying earlier that they can stock up for three months and head out in terms of food. Fuel tanks are outboard. These beautiful stainless steel exhausts that come out here. And then these are the engines, or one of them at least. Fantastic, let's look on this one. There we go. Cool, huh? Brilliant, all right, let's come back out of here. And I think we'll finish up 
here on the bathing platform. I'm going to say huge thanks to Denison Yachts. I'm going to say huge thanks to Bob Denison. There's the man himself. Give us a wave. That's Bob Denison. He's my top man here in Florida. Good man. There we go. So massive thanks to Bob. Massive thanks to Denison Yachting. That is Bob Denison, the man himself. And of course, huge thanks to you guys for watching. We will catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.